Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about hierarchical indexing. Uh, this feature is really exciting because um, it allows us to um, do some sophisticated data analysis and manipulation, especially if we're working with very high dimensional data. Uh, we spoke before about series. Series are one dimensional data structures and now we have data frames. Data frames are, are two dimensional data structures and hierarchical indexing works for both basically for series and uh, for data frames so um, seri uh, I'm sorry hierarchical indexing as the name might suggest is to use more one more than one index in a hierarchical way so um, the best thing is to have a look at an example if we create a new a new uh, notebook and maybe give it a name like hierarchical indexing say UK and what I'm doing here is I'm doing the usual import to import our data frame uh, I'm sorry to import pandas as PD and then here I have um, a Python dictionary uh, that we're going to use to create a data frame so the dictionary has multiple keys like city rank name score one and score two and the city we have a repetition here Tripoli Tripoli Rome Rome Sydney Sydney and then the rank first second first second first second and so on and so forth um, so let's create a data frame out of that using PD to data frame we pass it the raw data and then we give it the column names city rank name score one and score two if we create that and display the data frame this is what it looks like and we know by default uh, pandas gives us um, a, a default index but what, what we wanted to do is now is use these two columns uh, as our hierarchical index and the way to do that is um, by using this function called set index so I can say data frame dot set in set index and what I can do here is I pass it two or more column names as uh, as an as an as a list basically as a as a, a Python list so I'm saying what I'm saying here is create an index out of city and rank with option drop equals false. What that means is do not remove these columns, but rather create an index out of them and keep them in the data frame. If I run that, we get now the data frame looking like this. Now we notice we have two new columns, the city and the rank. And what I'm doing here is I'm saying ind index by city first and then index by rank so the first index is city let's say for example it's Tripoli and then the second rank is first second in the first index Tripoli second rank second and so on and so forth and like we said we're actually keeping the columns that we've used for index if we wanted to drop them it's true by default so drop is true true by default you notice now that we actually lose those columns uh, I mean we can just do a shift tab here to have a look at the documentation and you can see here is drop equals false by default and we pass it the keys and in the first place we pass it, we pass it the keys that we wanted to use um, for uh, indexing and where the for example to do it in place or not meaning instead of uh, generating a new data frame do it in place in the actual data frame that we're using and uh, we can have a look at the documentation here um, did, 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 did. I can have a look at some examples as well. So I hope the idea makes sense. It's quite simple and yet uh, powerful to index by the first one and then the second one and so on and so forth. And always remember, it's also possible to have uh, hierarchical indexing for data for series. The concept is exactly the same. Um, another thing that we might, we might be able to do is, let's say um, we don't want to drop the two columns that we use as keys for our index and we'd like to do it uh, in place so let's have a look at the documentation quickly yeah in place equals false by default we'll set it to true obviously if you don't want to do that and you want to create a new data frame just say df1 for example equals that and it'll pass it on to the new data frame but we don't want to create a new one we'll just do it in place equals true and now if we display the contents of data frame we will have the index that the hierarchical index that we have set and to display the index we can say df dot 
index run and we, you can see it's a multi index um, although we use the term hierarchical index but in pandas data frame it's a multi index and you can see here we have these levels Rome, Sydney, Tripoli that's the first level, the city and then the second level is first and second, this is the rank okay and then it gives us here the names that we've used, I hope the idea makes sense, it's quite nice easy and yet quite powerful um, let's stop here and I'll see you in the next video